flyweight division. Hard right hand right off the hop there from Leanna Cruz as you hear the PA announcer here at the Owl's Nest reminding you this is a money round, round one. And if you want a chance to win $100, if there's a knockout during a money round here tonight, comment hashtag money round on the money round post on the Overtime Boxing Instagram page for a shot to get paid. Seems like Nancy Franco is smiling. <laughs> Well, listen, Franco has been in there with some of the very best of this era. We mentioned the two world titles that she's won, but she's also been in there with Sinisa Estrada, with Jessica Bopp, with Jessica Neri, some of the absolute best of this era. Right. But never one day's notice. But what do you do when somebody comes in late like this? I go to that bar. Absolutely. And, and Rihanna says she wants to swim without getting wet. That Philly slang. Even though she's from Allentown, Philly has a doctor. Oh, look at she switched southpaw. Oh, nice. Hard yeah, body combined. shots there from Franco as well. Excuse me, from Leanna Cruz. As Franco fighting at the heaviest weight of her career here tonight. I don't think we're going to see, like, super defense coming from Cruz because Cruz is going to be on the, on the offense. She's going to be the aggressor in this fight, seems like. Seems that way so far. Jab landed by Franco. A little left, slight left hook too. Snappy jab there from Cruz, breaks the right hand behind it, then tidies it up with a nice left hook to the box. Remember guys, these are two minute rounds here. They go pretty quickly. Cruz working at a two minute pace, all action from the Bumblebee in round one. Good work from Cruz. Beautiful, beautiful. She's too easy, she's too slow, okay? So. Good. She's too easy, she's too slow. Keep your stick in her face and just keep your, your, your distance on her, right? Yes, yeah, 60, 40 on her, because she's going to overthrow something. You're going to be able to counter right off of her. Keep touching the cuff. You see how she's going like this? Keep cuffing her, all right? Because then you want her to start to guide that so that your left hand can start to lock. Okay? Every time you shoot that right hand, shoot it hard down the pipe. Okay? Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Same thing. It's your show. I'm ready here to see you. Everything starts. Round two underway. This one's scheduled for six. Leanna Cruz please, and the please, former world champion, Nancy please, Franco. Please, Coming in on 24 please, hours please, notice. Franco please, spent please. a good portion of her career promoted by Canelo Promotions. And spent a period of time trained by Eddie Reynoso as well. One of uh, Reynoso's world champions that he has trained in the past. Hard body work there for Cruz. Good two punch body uh, combination there. You know, Cruz says she studied guys like Boots, like Terrence Crawford, to name a couple. Said, which is both both guys switch from righty to lefty and she's doing off. Absolutely, and, and I think that we are seeing uh, a little bit of an evolution of her style here tonight. Now, granted, she has an opponent across from her right now in Nancy Franco that is mostly just casting punches. She's allowing her to do this work, but Cruz obviously changing things up a little bit here. And this is the perfect situation to do that, to get that working. I mean, let, let, let's, let's be honest, she, she is a former world champion. She has experience in there, so who still has to be careful to some degree. And Franco certainly knows how to take care of herself and is fighting, frankly, because she loves it. She says she wants to fight until she's 40 years old. She's 35 now. She has a career outside of boxing. She's a police officer in Mexico. Right now, just getting overwhelmed by Leanna Cruz. With a nice shoe shot combination on the inside. Barrage of punches. All over Franco again in the closing moments of this round. 
right at DeFranco, who's firing back. But that's another good round for the Bumblebee. Cruz wants to score her first knockdown for sure. Knockout. All right, let's send it back over to Barack, who's standing by with a special guest. Okay, we got the famous, famous influencer, Drew Walls in the building. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? I'm great. Is this your first boxing match live? It is. It's actually my first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, how did I guess that? Listen, I seen your fitness journey on IG. I'm watching, my G. I'm watching. So, you're getting in shape, you're looking good, you look bigger than me, I don't know what's going on. But, with that, does that mean that you'll fight an influencer maybe since you had a boxing match? I would, I, um, I would, I'd fight, I, I was thinking about it too on the way here, I'm like, damn, if I was to fight somebody, who would it be? Uh-oh, you gonna have to call somebody out. Uh, if it, if actually, it'll be Jake Paul. Oh, you went a little too high with that one. Listen, we got a surprise for you. We know what you do online. We need you to light this candle. That's your thing. Yeah, they're coming out from the south post. So now she switches back to righty. I better gain 100,000 followers for this right here. Because this man is famous for this. I'm going to let you know. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, Barack. Back to you guys. Things uh, indeed getting lit here in Houston as Cruz puts her shots together. A three-punch combination, then that left hook landing up top. And I think some blood starting to come maybe from the nose of Nancy Franco, starting to take some punishment here in round three. As she showboats there. No need for all that. You heard the referee say there's no need for all this. <laughs> I tell you, Corey, Cruz is giving me a little Sinisa Estrada vibes, kind of. Odd right hand there from Cruz. See Franco trying to roll with these shots, trying to catch them, but Franco just cannot find a range where she could be effective here tonight. Cruz starts to double up with a jab. Welcome back, Brock. Has your follower account gone up? <laughs> As we speak, brother. As we speak. You smell My like a candle. Are My candles are burning from both ends, bro. Listen, I, I think Franco has a lot of experience, and she's a former champ, and I want to give her respect. But I think those days are just behind her, you know? And that's what we're dealing with. And she might have to pass that torch tonight. Mike, to the yeah. Yeah. I think it's happening, happening Barack. I'm not sure about Mike. <laughs> Franco has lost 10 of her last 12 outings. Indeed, a little downward spiral in her career, and Cruz looking to add to it here tonight. Well, maybe she don't have to pass the torch, she can pass the candle. How about that? Start touching her body a little bit more, okay? Make sure you come in, but make sure your guard is here. Remember, you're giving yourself the space and rip rip, okay? Deep breath me. Do me a favor, go southpaw a little bit more. Show your shit off. You hear me? We've been practicing this shit too much. This is the perfect person to slump on with it. Okay? You know the what joint you just did? The cup, the, the cup joint that we just did? I was like, oh, I like that. You're like, why am I doing that? Do it for me real quick. Watch it. Well, coming up later on, it is our main event featuring this man, Kudratio Abdukakarov. The Uzbek standout who will be taking on this man, Katz, Andreas Katsarakis. You hear the ovation from inside the venue here in Houston. Katsarakis now lives here, a big Greek community here in Houston. They have come out in support of Katsarakis. Taking on Kudratilo Abdukakarov a little bit later on in our main event as our 154 pound tournament continues. But the rise of Leanna Cruz is continuing right now as she is doing a number on Nancy Franco. I like the skill set that um, Cruz is showing, but we know who's at the top of that 126 pound division. Don't know how long she's going to be there, and that's Amanda Serrano. Do you think she'll still be around a year later when Cruz is ready, probably? Well, unfortunately, as we uh, found out earlier on uh, today, that fight, Amanda Serrano's next fight against Katie Taylor, postponed as Jake Paul, Mike Tyson uh, postponed. We'll find out a new date for that fight in uh, the coming weeks. 
pushing the bike, uh, speed and recovery. Hard right hand over the top there for Cruz. That might have been the best shot of the fight. Very comfortable in there, Cruz. Putting on the show, and I know she wants to get that knockout bonus and also add a knockout to her record. Franco's tough. <laughs> She's tough. She's smiling in there. She's having a ball. Been there. Done that. 21 days ago, she went eight rounds with Bree Howling, as we mentioned. A legit contender, a ranked contender. Yes. Went all eight rounds, took this call on 24 hours notice. And lands a left hook there. <laughs> she, she's keeping Cruz honest at moments and is absorbing these shots well. She's giving Cruz rounds, which was the objective when she got that call. Correct. Indeed. <laughs> Uh-oh. Cruz playing around a little bit in there and lands a flush right hand right down the pipe. What a way to end the round for Leanna Cruz. Well, coming up next, it is an all-Texas shootout featuring this man, Giovanni Marquez, as he warms up with my buddy and broadcast partner, Raul Marquez, who's on the pads. Gio Marquez, one of the faces of overtime boxing tonight, taking on Jason Limon of San Antonio. Some bad blood between those two. See if it spills over inside the ring here in Houston tonight. Round five underway. This one's scheduled for six. As Leanna Cruz opens the round up with a hard right hand to the body of Nancy Franco. Cruz has some fast, fast hands. And it seems like, you know, me and Corey alluded to it earlier. Is that a headbutt? A little bit of a clash of heads there. Seems like she's working on a few things that she's been working on in the gym, implementing that here in the fight. Well, Brock, you and I spoke to Leanna Cruz's manager, uh, Brian Cohen, when we were at uh, Iron City uh, lifting a little bit <laughs> earlier on. And he nice told plug. us, listen, he wanted Leanna to get something for the highlight reel here tonight, which isn't to say she wants to carry Nancy Franco, but he also didn't want Cruz to just steamroll Franco in the opening round. But frankly, Franco a lot more durable than maybe you would expect from a 24-hour opponent. Right, and we kind of knew she was going to be durable. I mean, like you said, she's been in there with champions, undisputed champions, you know, but she is showing us something. She doesn't have to get the knockout to show us a skill set. She doesn't have to get the knockout to show her proper punch placement, you know, and even some good defense. So I think she's giving... I think she's giving Cohen what, what he asked well, for. Yeah, look, look at these, even look moments at these like that. Right. Nice little counter left hooks from Nancy Franco. Right. Doing the job. These teachable moments are for Leanna Cruz tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Look, you always want to get rounds in. Look, nice crowd in here. Nice entrance. She's showing that she's a star. She's proving it inside the ring. Bright future for Leanna Cruz. Well, and remember, the importance of rounds to Leanna Cruz this is a woman with no amateur background. She got her start at Barstool Sports Rough and Rowdy, right? So she needs rounds just in general. Well, she's showing a lot of skill for, for a person that doesn't have an amateur career and, and was fighting in bars a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, this is a polished looking fighter here as round five comes to a close. Shut out so far, shut out. Girl sits right here because I've been seeing this seat is empty. I haven't gone to a fight where like my tank actually ran out yet, but God forbid that does happen. The one thing that would be pushing me definitely is my team, all the time that they put into me, and I think of my support system and my family. But most importantly, I think of the youth. The youth is what really drives me to do what I do. A minute and 30 seconds. The jab is setting everything up. When she, when she do this, stab for me, okay? Stab, ow, right hand. It's gonna be there, all right? 
Leave it all in there, smart. Great condition she's in, too. Leanna Cruz having fun in there, very relaxed. She had a look on Leanna Cruz's face as she headed to the corner. It's almost like she wanted some more competition here tonight. Nancy Franco doing the best she can on 24 hours notice as we begin the final round, which is the money round. And if you've been tuning in since the beginning of this broadcast, you know what to do by now. Comment hashtag money round on the money round post on the Overtime Boxing IG page if you want to get paid. Overtime Boxing making it rain here tonight. Left hook to the body there for Cruz. Franco again, every once in a while, is landing a counter left hook up top. Yeah, every once in a while, no steam on it, though. <laughs> no mustard on yeah, it. Yeah, that's the thing. Are those really keep her honest shots or, or what? You know, I don't know, but she's still trying at least. Inside the final minute of this contest. Hard shot there from Leona Cruz and Franco stumbles back. Big right hand over the top. There's 45 seconds to try to get that bonus. The only reaction you get from Franco after those big shots is a smile. Cruz digging down. She wants that extra payday. Final 30 seconds as Leona Cruz pouring it on. Looking up at the clock, she's got 20 seconds here in the money round. Big left hook on the inside. Uh oh, the ref is looking close. Can Franco survive the final 10 seconds? Cruz all over Nancy Franco as she looks for a buzzer beater. The former pole basketball player just missed out on it. Look at the ref, the ref just shook his head. He, he, gave, stopped it. he gave Franco a pass because yes. he heard he heard a 10 second clap. Yes. He heard a 10 second clap and he said, you know what? I'm going to squeeze this 10 seconds out of there. Are going to make our... Because it could have got stopped. They right. could have got... After going all eight rounds inside the OTX ring, we go to the scorecards. All three judges turning identical scores of 60 to 54 in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Still undefeated, the Bumblebee, Leanna Cruz. The Bumblebee, Leanna Cruz, remains undefeated.